Okay, today I'm going to be trying to fix this vintage Atomic and the problem is a problem that probably nobody or very few people will ever experience and that's namely that this tube here which runs all the way through the machine, you can see it runs down there, basically runs through the machine to about there, is completely blocked, probably with either aluminium oxide or lime scale or something like that. And you can't access that tube from the bottom. I did try to see if I could get that bung out, but that's never coming out. You should never really take that out anyway. So what I'm going to try and do now is unblock it. Now, what bond trading and the professionals would do is they would get a compressed air fitting on there somehow and try and blow out the blockage. But I don't happen to have compressed air. So what I'm going to use is a guitar string, um, a steel strung guitar string. The first thing that you need to do is you need to know how long it should be. And I've happened to have measured this on a working atomic from the end of the ball, which rolls down the tube quite easily, to there. Um, so I know exactly how far it should go in. Now what's happening is it should go in as far as the masking tape, but it's only going in about as far as my thumb, which tells me that the tube is blocked at the base here. I'm assuming it's blocked and isn't in some way crimped or sort of completely knackered. Anyway, first of all I'm going to try guitar string. If that fails I'm going to try and get a source of compressed air and see if we can clear out that blockage. It works much better than other bits of wire because it doesn't tend to kink or bend. As I say this should go in as far as this bit of masking tape but you can see there's resistance there. I'm wondering if I can maybe get some form of drill on there to slowly revolve that round and see if I can just grind out the blockage that way. But when you pull this out, you'll see that the base of it has actually got, where's the camera gone? The base of it is actually covered in the white powder that you so often see in the bottom of an old atomic. So we're gonna try plan B, which is use an electric drill to see if we can I'm going to do it with my hand, it is not going to be a bad thing. Whoops. Okay, the guitar string didn't work at all. So, what I've gone is gone along to Wilco's and bought some curtain track or rail for 60p for a metre and a half. And this stuff is perfect because it's much thicker, but it's flexible enough to get round the corners of the tube. And if you're careful when you cut it and bend it up, you can kind of get a little bit of drill bit. So next I'm going to put that down the tube and then I'm going to attach that to an electric drill and see if we can grind out some of the blockage. Okay, the curtain track did clear some of the blockage, but I couldn't get all the way through. So while I was at Wilco's, I also bought some brake cable. Once again, it's flexible enough, but it doesn't completely bend. And when you cut it at the end, at least when I cut it at the end, you get this frayed bit here. And that actually worked really well as a kind of drill bit or grinding thing. And when I put that down the tube, and attached it to the drill. It cleared the blockage almost straight away. Um, so now what we've got to do is fill this up with water several times, give it a good shake and then pour out all the residue. And then what I'm also gonna do for good measure, because as it happens, um, and you're gonna pour the whole of that contents inside there. Try not to get it on the shiny side of the atomic, otherwise you'll ruin the shine, not that this has much of a shine. Leave it in there for a little while just to dissolve some of the lime scale, and then I'm actually gonna run the machine with this lemon inside it, just to sort of clear any remaining residue in the tube. It's cleared, but if you look carefully on this machine, you can see that it has a crack in it just here, which is entirely my fault because I snapped off this fitting here and tried to use um, easy out reverse thread things instead of just drilling it out and regrinding the threads. I tried to do it 
do it the wrong way and ended up cracking the machine. So I'm hoping that despite that crack, there's still going to be enough pressure on this machine still to use it. If not, it'll be a very expensive paperweight or perhaps just a display machine. Good news is the blockage is clear. The coffee is now flowing through. It's like bad news is and not wholly unexpected is that um, you just zoom in on that. You can see that it leaks slightly there. There's all new seals in there. But it's leaking where the crack is, which is, as I say, not probably unexpected. And what you might find is that over time, the cracks kind of seal up with lime scan and stuff like that. You might also find that that leak there is not enough to stop the atomic working. So let's just see whether it actually you've got enough pressure to steam milk properly. Take it from there. It's just starting to sound differently now, and you can just see that the colour is coming out slightly different so it's time to try the steam pressure. Well, well, there's pressure there. Let's try steam this one. We've got all the steam coming out of there. It's not coming out with sufficient force to actually steam this milk properly. Instead of getting a very loud sound, it means that the steam is not shooting to the bottom of the milk. We'll see how it goes. Far more water. Oh, that's hot. But it's far more water than you would normally put in, and that means you get far more coffee coming out, which is fine if you like weak coffee, but that's actually too much water. What you can do if if you need to, I've seen people do, is they put far more water in the machine than necessary to give them enough pressure. And then when they've just got the right amount of coffee, they take that away and just put a little bowl or something under just to catch the over-extracted coffee. But it is possible to steam steam the milk, but you're just not getting a silky. You're not getting a. Can you see that in the light? You're not getting silky milk. Part of the reason is actually that the brand of milk that we're using is Sainsbury's Organic Milk, which does not froth nearly as well as something like Yovani milk. But you know, it's passable. This machine is passable but it's just not got as much pressure as it really needs to have to, to create really nice milk.